Aquarius. This is for Aquarius singles. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. This is to see what options you guys have in love for December 7th through the 13th. Excuse me. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. <clears throat> I will go ahead and check my moon and rising signs. If I were you guys, it will kind of probably, you know, bring the whole picture into focus for you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it, subscribe to the channel for me. And um, if you're interested in a personal reading, please visit pinkeryandgem.com. There's a selection there for different prices, okay? All right, Aquarius singles. Love options. Ooh. You guys are the last reading for today, and I'm a little exhausted, so forgive me if my words are slurred a little bit. Aquarius. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Somebody has their light shining on you, trying to see what you're all about, trying to see if you are the one. Hmm. Gemini energy. This is where you are. I'm getting strongly Aquarius that this is this is somebody from your past. And at this point, I feel like this is somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. That you did not have, no breakups are good, but I feel like this breakup with this person changed you. I don't know if, you know, I feel like This person isolated themselves from you. Like you haven't heard hide nor hair of this person in a while. You don't know if they are actually with somebody. You don't know if they cheated on you. <clears throat> you don't know anything about them. You don't know if they even really loved you. There's a lot of questions that you have. There's a lot that you're imagining. But the Nine of Swords is not, it's not real. You know, it's like when somebody does not clarify something for you, it leaves you to think all these different things, imagine all these different scenarios, and nine times out of ten, they're not real. Or they're, no, they're nowhere near what you're imagining, okay? You're going through this healing um, process right now. I feel like, you know, you've been praying a lot, asking for guidance, and it's here. It's here. I also feel like the person that um, that's coming towards you, what I mean by coming towards you, is the energy. They're looking at you they're looking at you in a different light. Whereas before, they may have felt like, you know, whatever went on between you, because I can't see it here, whatever went on between you, um, they probably told you that it was over, that it was over for good, that they didn't love you or what have you. And I think they're really rethinking whatever happened, whatever whatever words, hurtful words they spoke to you. Um, and they're also in the process of healing. 
I think there's a realization with this person that they really, really do love you. That you guys are meant to be. That there's a light shining on your relationship. Not your relationship, but your connection, period. You guys are not together. But I feel like they they feel like you are the one. That they're willing to, to, to go the test of time. Or to spend, you know, I, I just feel like that. Queen of Wands. This is how they see you. I think they think that you are, um, that you are admired by many. They see you as very attractive. They see you as very intuitive very fiery and you probably were at this point though i don't see you as exhibiting so much fire um i think you've been you've been beat down a little bit here so um your fire is is not out but it's not shiny it's not bright um but this is how they see you because again like i said i don't think you've seen or spoken to this person in a while because they've kind of been a recluse as well they, they feel like you're very attractive. They are very attracted to you. And quite possibly, you don't feel that from them. I think you've been beating yourself up here. Piscean energy. I think you're really taking time out to kind of um, get your thoughts together. But, you know, with the nine of swords here and the hanged man, um, there, I need for you, Aquarius, to really come up with a strategy on how to remedy. Each of these swords is like a different issue that you feel like is there that's probably not really there. So there's a need to come up with um, a realistic strategy on how to get yourself out of this bed because those sores are not even there. What find out what's good for you while you are in suspension. What's good for you? You know, aside from anybody else, what's good for Aquarius? What what is a need what needs to happen to propel you forward? to go towards the things that, that you desire out of life. You can't worry about this other person over here. We have Libra energy as well um, because justice is here. The scales will be balanced one way or the other. If you feel like this person wronged you, then there's karma that they have to face. You can only do, you know, control yourself and what what you decide to put out there. And um, I see this is what you're you're doing right now, trying to love yourself and accept the help from God, um, the healing. That's 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 what you can do. That's all that you can do is concentrate on yourself. Okay. And this person as well. I feel like, you know, they, they really want to make things right with you here. But leave it up to them. You just work on getting yourself out of this not a sword state. And get out of this hangman position where you're feeling very stuck. It's time to move. It's time to be this queen of wands that this person sees you as, okay? Confident, intuitive, use your heart. To maneuver. Use your intuition to maneuver and build yourself up. Do something new. Because I feel like, you know, in your 
in your higher state, you are somebody that, you know, takes on different projects, takes on different things, um, things of that nature. You're fearless, okay? This is fear. But you're really fearless. All right, Aquarius. So that's what I have for you for um, December 7th through the 13th. I'll speak with you soon.